Hi guys, welcome to the free automation learning and my name is Chirag. So today we are going to discuss about the APM architecture, how APM works and what is the uh, philosophy of APM, why we have to use APM, what is the limitation and what is the advantage of APM. Right. So today agenda would be uh, we discuss about the APM introduction what is APM first we have to know what is a APM then APM philosophy in which philosophy APM is working currently and APM concepts so what is the concepts behind uh, in APM about the APM design so how the APM design by the APM developer and why we have to use APM so let me start so first already discussed in my last video that APM is an open source tool which is very advantage of APM and it is a cross platform test automation tool so what is a cross platform test automation tool it is basically uh, it means that by using APM we can automate different uh, on different platform right so i have a code one code which launch a, uh, which launch a app so that code i can use by passing the platform parameter i can use in ios i can use on android i can use on window but uh, basically we can use a same api which is a java client api or which is a apm api you can say right so i will discuss what is a java uh, client api in further video let me uh, discuss about the apm introduction so i was discussing in my last video about the native app native app are those app, app application which install our app uh, our devices mobile tablet like hybrid is the combination of native they there would be a some part of native and there would be a some part of web web is wrapper with web view so we have to uh, work on this application this uh, kind of application also so apm support this kind of application also and apm also support mobile web applications so suppose there is a application which uh, launch or which uh, can run on chrome so we can uh, automate chrome or for ios we can automate uh, safari and uh, through uh, safari uh, browser we can automate that application which uh, work on this mobile web right so apm handles simulators emulators and by uh, we can also run our code on real device which is very useful and the platform i already discussed it support ios it support android it supports windows windows is launched or uh, you can say combined with apm recently and Fire, uh, firefox os we can also uh, do automation right so next part would be my apm philosophy so what is the philosophy behind the apm so apm guys uh, keep these things in their mind when they are developing this tool first and impo important thing you should not have to recompile your app or modify it in any way in order to automate it it means it is a very important and very you say uh, the successful of apm is behind this point right we do not need to recompile we do not need to recompile uh, recompile or modify my test application if i just automate i just uh, run on any automation on application we can simply uh, the, uh, give that application in the production right i used calabash in calabash we have to just uh, recompile our application and we have to 
take out the test servers through test servers uh, through test servers we can automate or we can run our application in Calabish it is also a API, open source tool and mobile automation tool right but APM uh, we do not need to recompile our application second you should not be locked into a specific framework or language uh, APM supports many language APM supports Java APM supports Ruby APM supports Perl APM supports JavaScript so we do not need to um, logged in one application so we can uh, the favorite app uh, language we can use uh, we can take that language and start automation right and uh, uh, mobile automation framework should not re reinvent the wheel when it comes to automation api so this means that uh, uh, if you know the selenium web driver or you have the little bit idea so it is not enough new for you right so mobile automation should be open source so as you know this uh, apm tool is a open source tool so this is all the philosophy why I am discussing this because some interviewer will ask and you should know about the architect about the basic of any automation tool in which you are going to work. So what is the APM concept this is very important you should know about the APM concept APM server basically APM works on the server my client send a request to server and server send a request to mobile in which my scripts have to run so server is a basic and it is an important part of the APM and uh, APM service is written in node.js right so what is a APM client APM clients are the client libraries such as Java Ruby Python, PHP. So these basically are the uh, client library. So in Java, I am using Java in this channel or in this playlist. So there would be a Java client uh, jar file. So these my are client libraries, right? And client server architect. So APM work on client and server architect as i already told you that apm receives connection from a client what is a client client is my code or my jar file and listen for commands execute those commands on a mobile device right it listens that command which i have to suppose i have to click it listen the click command and execute on a mobile device and respond with a http response it respond back through stt response and representing the result of the command execution so it show whether it click would be passed or fail so it's all goes with a http response so you can understand that there would be a one client and there is one would be a one server client send a request to the server then server send to the request to the mobile and mobile send back uh, response to the server in form of stt response and then server response to the client and we can get the result whether that step would be passed or fail so this is the normally client server architect second so when we start our automation scripts then a session created by a apm or this client library file right so that is known as a session in selenium webdriver also a session has been initiated when we run our test script so same way um, in this uh, apm client initiate a session with a server in a in a way specific to each library for the each library the client initiate a session with a server Firstly, it uh, uh, initiate a session with server, then it will start execution. Desired capabilities. What is a desired capability? Desired capability is very important in APM. 
basically desired desired capabilities are a set of keys and value sent to the abm server to tell the server what kind of automation session we are inter interested in starting up so before we have to start our session we just send our de desired capability whether i need to create a session for the android device or i need to create a session for the ios so there would be a large number of desired capabilities which i am going to discuss in further videos till now you can understand that desired capabilities by desired capabilities we have to pass key and value and we just tell the server that this kind of automation session i need to start right so this is all about the apm concept now about the apm design how apm has been designed apm is the nothing the developer of apm has taken the framework of different you may say for the android they took the uh, ui automator for ios they are uh, uh, take uh, apple's xc test and the for windows they are used a win app driver and so so let me show you or explain what is a apple xz so uh, before 9.3 or uh, you say uh, apple has introduced a new framework xc test before xc test there would be a uh, framework which is a UI automation right so now currently Apple's uh, introduce a new framework that is XC test so this APM uh, is currently about uh, 1.6 version APM start to use this XC test framework to automate iOS application right and for android 4.2 plus version they uh, are using ui automator this is all a framework which apm use or a apm guys use if you have to develop or automate android device for uh, which version is 4.2 plus so by default apm call google's ui automator framework right so when i i just wanted to discuss one uh, statement or one uh, thing that i was taking an interview of apm i asked a candidate what is the difference between ui automator and ui automation and that candidate has a good experience apm but he was not able to tell me the difference so i was surprise why he was not able to uh, tell the difference between ui automator or you uh, and ui automation because uh, he did not study the architect he he just uh, is, uh, i think he just uh, started to automate the uh, application he did not uh, go in the deep of the architect so guys you should go or you should understand the architecture of the any tool before you have to start right so if you are going to use the android version which is lesser than 4.2 you can use selenoid for this and i will discuss about the how we automate ios application how we automate android 4.2 plus application how uh, application means uh, the platform and the device uh, on which uh, um, we have uh, the version android version less than 4.2 so how we can use selenoid in that i discuss and show you step by step right we also discuss about the windows right so this is about our apm design how the apm has been designed it is nothing it just uh, takes different framework from the different technology and implement in one box that's known as apm 
so why we have to use first and important things it is an open source you have you do not need to spend any money you just download the apm and start mobile automation right this is the main advantage of this and another thing you do not have to recompile your app as i already discussed that you should not have to recompile your app you just go and start automation right and you can write your test with your favorite tools by using selenium webdriver compatibility language as this apm is a wrapper of the selenium webdriver so you can use the same language which you, you could use or you have a knowledge of java php python ruby so you can take any or pick any language and you start automation right and you can use any testing framework you can use test ng you can use unit test framework for j unit for java you can use for the c sharp n unit so or you can use keyword all kind of framework you can use so this is a very good and powerful uh, tool for the mobile automation currently a open source tool and that's why it is very boom condition and you should learn this tool and i will show you how we can or you can learn this tool right so about this this is all the theory part in next video i'm going to show you how we can set up apm on our machine right so this is about the, this video if you have any question just contact me my contact gmail id is free automation learning at the rate gmail.com in next video i'm going to show you how we can set up so just go just stick with this playlist and thank you for watching this video hopefully you like my work please share my video please uh, press like button subscribe my channel and